Hello, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Wild Arms 4. Today, we are going to be trying to rescue Yuli. Last time, we got Kresnik in our party, which is amazing. So, uh, let's see what we can do today. Ooh, we in the battle. Okay, Marksman. Let's check him out. Uh, not weak to anything, so I will just attack. Why not? Whoa, his attack is amazing. And, uh, let's see. I'll kill this one. BAM! Man, why can't we get, uh, Kresnik in our party full time and just forget that Yuli even exists? Because Yuli sucks. Wow, his physical attack is more powerful than his magic attack. That's kind of surprising, I've really got to say. Here, him. And... Can we kill him in one shot? No! Yeah. Okay, Rick, I'll finally get the turn. Yeah. Beat the crap. Damn! <laughs> God, everybody else is doing like 2,000, and then Kresnik hits a 3,000. I thought that was good, and then she does a 6,000. Like, what were the game designers thinking when they designed Raquel? I mean, she's just ridiculously amazing. So anyway, you want to accelerate in here, because you're going to get shit tons of gold by doing so. And uh, just keep on moving and grooving right along. There we go. Uh, you'll think that this screen is kind of familiar because uh, we're going to go back and forth through it a lot. So make sure that you just carry your sword on through there and then whack this thing to open up that door right there. And then we have to go back through area 9, which I will... Okay, took care of that. Now we have this switch over here that we need to whack the crap out of. Bam! For this door to open up and go through here, which looks exactly the same as Area 9. Let's see if we can accelerate and get some uh, gold in here, though. Uh, it doesn't look like it, unfortunately. That kind of sucks. At least the other one gives you, you know, something of interest Whoa. to look at. Oh, it's just a cell, but Yuli's not there, unfortunately. But there we go. Okay. And here we're just going to curve around to go through this door! <laughs> it's just kind of ridiculous at this point. I mean, it's just... It's me. Can I get him? Can I get him? Woohoo! Grab that sword. Okay, now Can't let's go. <laughs> There's Yuli! Woohoo! Yuli! I'm sorry I'm so late, Yuli. It was a long and twisted path that ultimately led me here. But you came! You came back to me! Let's save the tearful re reunions for later, okay? We're right in the middle of enemy territory. Hauser, Jude's mother, and the people from Ciel are being held captive here. Hauser's not here. He's already been sent to Illsville Prison as a war criminal. The heretical engineers from Ciel are in a holding facility here, but on a different block. We have to save them! I'm the one who got the people of Ciel mixed up in all this! No, right now, the first thing that we have to do is get out of here safely. Jude? But Jude, your mother and the people from your hometown are here. With security as tight as it is, I don't know how far we get, so... You know, he's got a point. He must have brought his mother here for some reason, right? So it's likely she's not in any immediate danger. But still, are you sure about this, Jude? Yeah, if we get captured too, we'll never be able to rescue them. Alright, now, as for the escape plan I've come up with... This battleship is equipped with small airboats. If you can get onto the deck, you should be able to escape from there. Kresnik knows a lot about the ship. Why don't we trust in him? Kresnik? Where are you going? I, I can't go with you. But you said you'd fight along with us. I don't ever recall agreeing to that. I have something I must do, so I can't fight by your side. Kresnik. Oh. That sucks, but we do get Yuli. Ooh, here we have some... We have some more guys. We have a Blade Soldier. No weaknesses. Militia Man. And Spellcaster. So lots of guys here. Uh, we're just gonna take care of them. Man, Arno's attack is really kind of nice, I've gotta say. Um, I'm going to have her intrude, actually. And then I'm gonna do the move and break. 
This should be interesting. Then she's going to attack the crap out of uh, this guy. He's in my defense. This is far as I go. And then we're gonna use this one. Bam! Hopefully that'll take care of everyone. Ugh! We're still Let's alive. Bastard. Okay, well, uh, oh, I can just material this guy. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Well, did we underestimate them? Now we can at least relax a little. Okay. Keep on moving and grooving. That was easy enough. And let's see. Oh, 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 oh. I want this. Yay! Huh? Woo! Come on. Woohoo! Nice. Gotta get that gold. Okay. Uh, there we go. Perfect. I almost fell off the ledge again. That would really piss me off. Seems like that's all I ever do. Woo! There we go. And what do I do here? Hmm. Oh, is that a fan? Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, it's so much faster. I don't like it. Go 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 go! Woohoo! Okay. And jump off! No! 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 Make it, you stupid idiot! Ugh. Let's try this again. Woohoo! Okay, man. Oh, what's all this? Nice. Can we break it? No. Can we modify my arm? Uh, oh, I actually have a dragon fossil, so let's see what I want. Um, yeah, I'll raise the attack power, why not? Can I raise it anymore? No. Okay. Uh, I'm good there. Let's go ahead and save. And then we're gonna talk to the little box right there, because the box, I want to say, is a shot box. See if it has anything that I want. Probably not, but I'll check it out anyway. Uh, no, I'm good there. What about this stuff? Any good? No. This stuff? No. No. Okay. Um. Let's see. This stuff? No. No. Okay. That shot box was absolutely, entirely, 100% useless. Get down the damn stairs. Good God. Come on. Do it. 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 Yes. Take a ball! What? Hurt! Shoot! That's the, the controls in this game. I know it's just a D-pad, but... And I blame the game, and it's really me, and I really shouldn't have played the game. It's just that I just suck at it. I just What's suck that? so bad. It's so terrible how bad I am at this game. How bad I am at controls, and how bad I am about all this crap. So let's see. Take this. And woo! keep on pushing it this way. And let's try one more. Let's see if that's enough. That too. it. Woohoo! Awesome. Okay. Is Captain Lambda in the Onyx room? He sure is. Was there something that you needed? I've come to turn myself in for a violation. I must be punished for high treason. As serious as ever, I see. Hmm. You can go in and see the captain, but what's beyond this door may be a bit too much for you to handle. Well, if you insist, though, go ahead. guy that looks like the guy from Xenogears? Oh, it's this old man! This old haggard old man. Captain! What's going on here? Kresnik, 
You've got to stop Lambda. He's no longer the captain of Brianic, but a traitor. You must destroy this evil which threatens the future. The evil which threatens the future? To whom do those words truly apply, Minister? Me or you? S stay away from me! Unable to bear their own frailty, the souls of the weak become twisted and ugly. Lieutenant Heath, a former member of Brianic, suffered in this way. But people, self-aware as they are, strive to conceal this ugliness from others. That's morality, which in turn guides us between right and wrong. But what of you? You sequester yourselves in an underground society, covering yourselves with armor and masks. You've fallen into a state where no one even knows who you are. From your position of invincibility, you babble on, mindless of the pain you cause others, so weak and repulsive. Creatures like you fear all that is good and just. You shun those who uphold these virtues. The souls of the weak can't even cope with their own frailty. Becoming an adult isn't about growing old and cowardly. Why the hell is Lambda talking about coming in? Oh my god, I thought it was just Jude and Yuli and them. <laughs> If you truly consider yourself to be adults, you should be ashamed of your actions against the path of righteousness. You create nothing and you bequeath nothing. We creatures cannot build for Gaia's future. <laughs> you say that we creatures cannot build the future. Then, let me ask you this. Who is behind a representative democracy? That's right. It's the public. Now, just what kind of group is this public we're talking about? You can't answer that, can you? After all, the public is an entity made up of people who have given up their individuality. They're creatures who have fallen into a state where no one even knows who they are, just as you said. So, the public is no different from the High Council. Are you suggesting we leave the future of the world in the hands of such weak creatures? Don't make me laugh. There's nothing as weak and repulsive as the public. They're cowards who are eager to hide within the ambiguity of the masses, all in order to avoid individual responsibility. They thirst for a government of the people, yet when they obtain it, they shrink from their responsibilities and abandon their roles. This is the government they desired, so why do they not participate in it? It was their weak hearts that drove representative democracy from the world. The post-war democracy was killed by the very people themselves. Yet, in spite of that, you still choose to pursue your ideals? Answer me, Lambda Zellweger! I feel like calling him a name from now on. He just whips the crap out of him. <laughs> I still want to leave the future of Philgaia to its people. If the people are weak, then they'll just have to become strong. Life would be nothing were it not for its potential to grow stronger. This way's block two? If only we'd ask Kresnik how to get to the deck. Let's switch to our nodes escape plan. What? We can't just switch plans mainstream! Or midstream, not mainstream. <laughs> ah! Ooh, that sucks. My turn. Okay, super soldier. And this is a let's see. Um, what do I want to do? Analyze a super soldier. Ooh, no weaknesses either. Do I have a lucky card? I do have a lucky card. Nice. And we're all on the same hex, so I'm just going to use it right now. Oh shit! Oh shit! Um, okay, let's move him over here. Oh, thank god. Um, you are going to... Yeah, heal yourselves. Oh, you know what? I should have used material. You can think about it. And that would have healed uh, Arno as well. Holy shit! Jake's dead too? Oh my god, this sucks. Oh, this is no good. Um, let's use revive. revive. I don't want things to end so easily. Okay. Oh, thank God. Oh shit, he's dead too. Uh, what the fuck? How many times are they blasting? Holy shit! This is bullshit. Fuck all y'all! I'm intruding the ever-loving shit out of each and every no fucking one like of you. Blast. You. Bastards! My are end. Okay. Move her over here. And just start <laughs> knocking the ever-loving fuck out of all of you. Oh, shit. Where to go? I'll handle this. Here. Kill you. I'll handle this. Kill you. Oh. 
Let's go ahead and attack you again. Oh, he blocked? You bitch! Okay, another intrude. You motherfucker! One more time, come on! Fuck! Okay, um... Revive... Arno. Time to get back to work! Henri always said, never give up! And let's see. I'm going to use. Um. Pantomime? Yeah, sure. Pantomime, why not? Sweet! Finally, it's worked out my favor in this fight. Holy crap! Uh, revive her. Man, this is just not my day! This is more than enough to win with! Good lord! Okay, let's, uh, do another phantom line. Yeah, if I win just with phantom lines, this is kind of challenge us. Can I blast him and kill him? Come on! Is that it? Is that enough? Impossible. Thank we were the elite God! If they just let us go, we wouldn't have to I'm do sorry this. about the cursing. I'm sorry! <laughs> but my God, that was pretty ridiculous. Man. Whew. I'm glad to be out of there. Anything over here? No, nothing there, unfortunately. That boss was hard! Holy hell, that was hard! Now, what is it that brought you here, Kresnik? It, I, uh... I came to report a personal violation of the regulations. You violated regulations? Well, Brainiac is about to be reborn. We will no longer be, un be under the command of the High Council. This is a good opportunity, so why don't we let our previous transgressions be bygones? But... Isn't that nice? Now why don't you lighten up? Captain Lambda, I've lost sight of what I believe in. After all, I was part of an organization that threatened the welfare of my own dear sister. Although it carried out my convictions thinking it was for the sake of the world, in the end, did it really mean anything? Hearing your words and those of the High Minister Clifford, I find myself unable to maintain a strong vision of the future in my heart. I... I don't know what to do. If you've lost your faith, then all you must do is find a new one. Then you can carry out your convictions once more. Faith isn't the only thing that I've lost. My arm, I'm no longer able to. You again! Seriously, Kresnik? We could've killed him. Could've been game over. The end. Done. And this bitch popping out of nowhere. Jude! Don't move. Is this child the unknown variable Lambda spoke of? I don't think that he'd be so cute. But if the order comes through, I'm afraid I'll have to be a bit cool. Captain, would you allow me to handle this? Yes, I shall leave him to you. Besides, it's not as though he dislikes spirited children. In fact, strong hearts like his are necessary for our future. looking like, I guess it'd be like an upside-down helicopter, or a hovercraft, I suppose, although hovercrafts probably only hover a couple feet off the ground. Oh, it's gone. Gone's not gone, gone's back. Lucky us, traitor bastard. <laughs> Tell me everything, Lambda! What happened through yesterday? What's starting tomorrow? And what you're thinking today? I know you! You've got a trump card hidden somewhere, don't you? I never thought I'd be in danger of being killed by my own best friend. I can't talk if I'm dead, you know. Sorry. 
I believe I shared this with you once. I seek a future for this world, not one controlled by a select few, but a future where all who live in this world take an active role. That's why I fought as a member of the Congressional Knights. That's why I strove to realize my ideals as a member of Brianak. Nothing has changed. My intentions are sincere. And that's why you killed the old men of the High Council? I can believe in the ideals you strive for, right? Your ideals haven't changed from those we shared back at the Academy, right? I can still call you my friend, right? That's for you to decide. But as for me, I still consider you my friend. All right, then I'll consider you a friend too. But I want to get one thing straight. The divine weapon that was excavated in Illsvale. It looks like you're moving forward with the preparations to activate it. From what you've told me earlier, that was a toy the old men were after. So why are you playing with it? What are you planning on doing with the divine weapon? I determined that it was necessary for the ideal future that I envisioned. After all, everything I do is for that cause. On the prison island, you saw the Gungir system, didn't you? Illsville's greatest defense mechanism. Its development was also for that cause. Gungir, the interceptor system with ten guided missiles. The very reason why Illsville is known as the inescapable and unapproachable prison isle. If it's for an ideal future, I wouldn't think twice about using Gungir, no matter who the opponent may be. They're only children, Lambda. They're the ones who will live in the future you hope to create. I want to transfer the armed researchers to Illsvale. Gone. Ready the gyro. Sure. Even back at the Academy, your ideas were always correct. But your one flaw is the way that you always try to rush the results. You make a lot of unnecessary enemies that way, you know. Don't you think it's about time you change your ways? It's getting harder to keep up with you the older I get. It's because my best friend has always stood by my side that I've been able to get those results. Thanks, Gon. I know I can count on you. Are you alright? Arno, Raquel, Yuli. Thank goodness you're all okay. Yeah. Thanks to Mr. Big Brother shoving us into this lovely prison hotel free of charge. But I guess there may be a silver lining to this cloud. There are some guests that you just might recognize. The villagers from CL! It's good to see you're all right. I guess our little troublemaker can't be dissuaded that easily. I ran into Raymond a little while ago. He was injured, but the doctor said that he'll be fine. I see. Then I'm sure the others are also doing fine too. Yes. Not everyone from the village was brought here. For example... Where's Mom? She was taken somewhere else, apart from the rest of us. She's probably being interrogated about arms. We were only researching arms in order to repair the environment. So how did things end up like this? Because of us, even you children have had to suffer. Kresnik. Now is your chance to escape. The preparations to move the research team to Illsville are almost complete. Once that happens, no one can escape, and no one will really get close to them. Can we trust you? Especially after what you just did to Jude. It's okay, Arno. I know what he was doing. I trust him. I know now that even if I had fought that guy, as much as I hate to admit it, there was no way I could have won. Thanks for doing what you did. It's a straight shot from here to the deck. You won't get lost if you just keep making your way up. Will you come with us? I just informed Captain Lambda of my decision to disembark from the ship. However, I cannot walk alongside you. Kresnik! Why not? You're leaving the ship, right? Then why not? Huh? As a member of Freenac, I once believed in myself and the Congressional Knights. But now, the faith that supported me has crumbled. What can I believe in? What should I believe in? Since then, I haven't been able to wield my arm. I'm no longer a member of Brianak, nor am I even the Kresnik you knew. I'm nothing more than a burden to everyone. Kresnik! Don't come after me. I'm, I'm someone who lacks the power to even protect his own sister. We'll make our way out of this ship. Surely our paths will cross one another someday. Don't you think so too? Yes. All trust in the bomb between us. I can believe in it now. 
Ah. Let's see if we can talk to them. Huh. Yeah, I guess so. They were running away from responsibility. That's kind of right. Yeah, Raymond is okay. Well, that's good to know. How about you? When an arm which the human body considers to be a foreign object attempts to rewrite the host's genes, a type of autoimmune reaction known as a resistance impulse occurs. Because of this, those who lack genetic capability or compatibility must take a special drug to prevent their body from rejecting the arm. Is that right? Huh. Okay, well, uh, can I go through here? No, we cannot. So we have to actually go the other way. You know, they kind of fool you that way. They put the villagers on that side. Thinking that you have to go that side, but no, you have to go the other side. You probably weren't aware of this, but Ox, the Brianic advisor, once worked alongside us in researching arms. But suddenly, one day, he took our research results along with a prototype arm and defected to the Congressional Knights. I don't know what happened to him since then, but to think he'd force us to develop arms once again, surely he must have sold his soul to the devil or something. Ooh, well, that's no good. Can I go in here? Oh, we have another trampoline in here. Uh, but let's go check back out this area through here. Because they did say to go, uh, heading up. And we will head up next time on Let's Play Wild Arms 4. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good day.